here's another molar volume calculation. <clears throat> this time it says what mass of water is produced when excess cyclobutane burns in 6.72 litres of oxygen. Take the molar volume to be 22.4 litres. The significance of the excess is that we will not run out of this substance. This reactant is surplus to requirements and therefore the quantity of water produced depends on the chemical which is not in excess, namely the oxygen. In other words, this is not really part of the calculation. The calculation is the relationship between the water and the oxygen. We get an equation which you can balance. Four carbons to begin with, four carbons at the end. Eight hydrogens to start with, eight hydrogens at the end. There are eight oxygens here and a further four. That's 12 oxygens in total. We must have started with 12 oxygens. There. Six times two is 12. This equation is telling us that every time we use six moles of oxygen, it will produce four moles of water. How much is six moles of oxygen? Don't be tempted to work out the mass of oxygen. The question is concerned with the volume of oxygen. So, we want to know if one mole is 22.4 litres, how much space will six moles take up? Six times 22.4 litres comes to 134. 0.4 meters. Now we come to the water. We are concerned with the mass of water. The question is, what mass of water is produced? What's the mass of four moles of water? One mole of water, H2O, is 18 grams. We've got four. Four 18s is 72 grams. It's taking shape. If this volume of oxygen produces 72 grams of water, then we want to know if we only have 6.72 litres of oxygen, how much water will be produced? 6.72 litres will produce how much water? Are we looking for a mass greater than 72 or less than 72? Less than 72. That means taking the 72 and making it smaller by putting a smaller quantity on top and a larger quantity below. We're looking at a fraction of 72 grams. When we do the sum, the answer comes to 3.6 grams of water.